2013 project update for May the 26th and the week following it. Um, it's the start of the season in the Eastern Pacific and we had a storm. Uh, Cyclone Education Week will be running this week starting later this evening um, on May the 26th through the 30th. And the hurricane seasons in the North Atlantic and Central Pacific begin on June the 1st. Of course the East Pacific started already um, and we already had a hurricane, Amanda of course. So, comments on Amanda. Ivan says, I hope Amanda does become a Category 5. And also, did you get my hypothetical hurricane season request 2122? Um, I can't say I did. I don't see anything here, Ivan. So, please try again or send a direct email if you wish. Unfortunately for you, Amanda did not appear to become a Category 5 storm. Uh, Pablo Sin says, I think she was a Category 5 before beginning an eyewall replacement cycle. Well, let's pull up the satellite imagery from Amanda showing the frames before, um, as it was at its peak intensity of 155 miles per hour. It certainly could be said either way, really, argued either way, possibly a Cat 5. Uh, we'll see if any post-season um, post analysis changes any of that. And don't forget that hypothetical hurricane season submissions will be closing on June the 1st, 2014, uh, possibly for the foreseeable future. Um, so please do get your submissions in this week if you'd like to see your an yours animated anytime soon. So let's take a look at how we're doing so far this year. 26 tropical storms formed. 11 of those became Category 1 hurricane equivalents, 74 miles per hour or higher. And 6 of those so far have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour on or higher. Um, still quite a way away from any of the other seasons on the 26 year record. Uh, but of course it is still early on in the season. Let's take a look at how we're doing on the graph. Uh, we are the blue line, the purple line is 1996, which was the highest at this point of the year. The red line is the overall winner, 1992, which had 103 storms in total. So it's not doing too badly at all. It'll be interesting to see how well it keeps up over the next month or two. But as of right now, it's doing fairly well. The green line is last year, 2013, which if I remember correctly, finished up with 85 storms in the end. So let's look at the predictor season scores and it's all changed, at least score wise, because of the storm that formed recently. But a lot of people in the top 12 will be big losers really because all the scores have gone up except one. And that was Willyback82 who lost 6 points and in the process went up 2 positions because don't forget the lower score is the better result, um, a score of 0. Um, indicates an absolutely perfect prediction, but no one's ever scored that yet. So our new predictions this week, uh, Weatherman Sam predicted on May the 23rd scoring 192, 47th place. Danny the Dinosaur predicted on May the 25th scoring 122. Weatherboy 1102 and Tristan Lynn also predicted this week scoring 164 and 162, very close between them two. Um, and looking at the feature predictors, the top two are at the bottom there, the black and the red line, Monsoon and Blake. And our four featured people, um, Willyback82 has gone down quite considerably in the grand scheme of things. Paul Nugent goes down slightly as well as myself and F15 as well. Uh, these are the top two, how it's been going, and Willyback is starting to come into the picture now in the past few, in, a, in the past week. Um, and all the others are still up there as well, the top 12. Um, it will be interesting to see how things go in the next few weeks. You can submit your predictions at force13.com forward slash predictor season underscore 2014, but it's on the description, so you can click it straight away. You can visit any of Force 13's six outlets. The website is the main place to stay updated on storms like Amanda right now, force13.com. Of course, there's the video platforms, YouTube and Daily Motion, Force 13 on both of those, and the social places, Facebook and Twitter. Just search Force 13 in text to find the relevant pages, and those are updated quite often as well. And you can chat Tropics on Skype, just add Fool 13. See you next week.